All right, spine injuries in the CrossFit athlete. I'll just say in the Western world here, we end up putting a lot of stress on our back with our day-to-day -day activities, such as we sit down at work, um, we sit down in a car, we sit down in public transportation, we sit down to eat lunch. And when we sit down, what we do is we, we, we take our back out of this nice extended posture here, this nice little sway here. We take our body out of that and we reverse it. So we actually end up compressing the front portion of the spine and, and, and the discs in your spine. Now the discs in your spine are like a jelly donut. <laughs> and like a jelly donut, what happens is if we squeeze on the front portion of the jelly donut, you'd expect that jelly to move towards the back or the opposite side. Now, if we constantly do that over and over again, it might even squirt out. The same thing can happen at the discs in, in your back. So if we're constantly in a position, a flex position when we're sitting down, we're not watching our posture, crappy posture like this where our back's getting rounded out like that, and then we go into the gym and then we do some heavy deadlifting and our back rounds out or we do whatever and we get this or we squat and we get the wink of your butt, right? So we get the, the butt wink, right? So if I'm squatting down like this, I can probably only squat to about right here before my butt curls underneath. Do you see that? So my butt curls underneath. So all what's happening with that is you're getting this, your back is opening up like, like that. That's, that's the butt wink. That's the significance of the butt wink. It's still compressing the front portion of the spines. So most people do not have the mobility to touch their ass to grass on the full squats. And what you end up doing is you end up forcefully flexing your back like this. And that's gonna cause so much stress on, on the discs. So what you need, you need to do a lot of core strengthening, okay? I know a lot of people who are in shape, a lot of people do CrossFit, they think their cores are really strong. I put them through a little testing protocol and they're really weak, they're really not strong, okay? You might do a lot of sit-ups, a lot of straight-legged ones, a lot of V-ups and everything like that, but I guarantee your core is not really strong or you don't have good control of it. So we need to get better strengthening of your core through a protocol that you'd have to go through. Um, mobility, you might not have enough mobility in your hips, your glutes, to allow you to get down that far. Oftentimes it's your hamstrings. Um, and then, yeah, so like strength of your core, flexibility of your hamstrings, um, and just watching your posture at work. So a lot of these low back injuries can be prevented um, just by addressing those areas. But in the meantime, you can also try reversing these stresses to try to get you out of this rounded posture and get you back into an extended posture. You can try lying down on your, your, your stomach and just propping up on your elbows like this. Boom. So you, you kind of get back this extended posture. Okay. Um, you can even try doing a little press up from there. So leave your, your, your hips flush on the, on the floor if you can and then just use your arms only and press your upper body up, but leave your hips completely down. That's called a press up. That's gonna help reverse the stresses there. Um, be cautious of doing heavy, heavy lifting in the mornings. If you're a person that works at a desk, you have a long commute, you know you don't have good posture, because you're just waiting to blow out the disc. You're just waiting, okay? Your discs are so much fuller and taller in the morning, and if you're lifting a lot of weight and you know you already have bad posture, at work and everything, and if you lift a lot of heavy weight in, 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 in the morning, you're, you're just gonna probably blow out your disc. So uh, wait until your body wakes up a little bit more at like an hour or two into the day, um, and then uh, start the heavy lifting. So just be cautious, make sure you're good and warmed up though. And that's just a little bit about injuries at the low back.